Hello students, this is Pooja. Welcome to our class. So today we will do exercise 6.1, question number 6 of class 6. So what is the statement? In each of the following pairs, which number is to the right of the other on the number line? 2 and 9. Two numbers are given in part A. For this, first of all, we will draw a number line. And always in the center of the number line, we draw 0. We write 0. On the right side, we always write positive numbers. And on the left side, we always write negative numbers called negative integers. And these are called positive integers. So, let's check. 2 and 9. Starting from 0, 2 is here and 9 is here. So, which number is on the right side of the number line? 9. Between 2 and 9, 9 is on the right side of the number line. So, our answer will be 9. So, this is done. So, now we are with B part. In this part, there are two numbers given, minus 3 and minus 8. So, first of all, we will draw a number line again. 0, 1, 2, negative integers should always be on left side, on the number line. So, here we need to check between minus 3 and minus 8. That which number is on the right side of the number line? So, minus 3. Let's check where is minus 3? Minus 3 is here. And minus 8? Minus 8. Minus 8 is here. So, which number is to the right side? Minus 8 yaha hai. Minus 3 yaha hai. So, right side mein kon hai? Right hand kaha hai hamara yaha. So, we'll go to right side of the number line. Right side will be this side. So, minus 8 is the left side and minus 3 is on the right side. So, answer to this question will be minus 3. We can write minus 3 is to the right side of the number line between minus 3 and minus 8. So, this is part B. Let's move to the part C. Part C is given 0 and minus 1. So, here too, we need to check which number is to the right side of the number line. So, first of all, let's draw a number line. 0 in the center, positive number on the right side and negative integers or we can say negative numbers are on the left side. So, here 0, we always start from 0 on the number line. Right of 0 and left of 0. And always remember this thing. Jo number left of 0 honge, those are the negative numbers or negative integers. Or jo right of 0 honge, wo honge positive integers. Okay? So, this is the only way. Right side, remember right side and the left side. So, here 0 and minus 1. Starting from 0, 0 is here and minus 1 is here. So, which one is on the right side? We can see left hand, if we are moving from minus 1 to 0, then 0 is on the right side. So, this is in left and this is to the right. So, the answer to this question will be 0. 0 is on the right side of the number line. So, this is done for part C. Let's move to the part D. So, coming to the part D, there are two numbers given minus 11 and 10. For this, we need to draw a number line. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And the greater number is given here 11. So, we will write till 11 on the left side. Minus 11. Negative integers are always be on the left side on the number line. So, here we have minus 11 and 10. And we need to check ki kaun sa number hamare number line per right side mein hai. Okay. So, let's see. Minus 11 is here. 
and where is 10? This is plus 10. No sign, it means this is plus. 10 is here. So check which number is on the right side. Check your open hand. Se. This is our right hand on the number line right side. This is the left side. So obviously, this is left and this is right. Minus 11 is on the left and 10 is on the right of the number line. So our answer will be number 10. So the number 10 is on the right side of the number line between minus 11 and 10. So this is done for part D. Coming to the part E, there are two numbers given minus 6 and 6. Let's check which one is on the right side of the number line. First of all, draw a number line. Okay, so we will check which number is on the right side on the number line between these two numbers. Minus 6 is the negative number. So this is on left side and plus 6 is the positive number. So it is on right side. So we can see that 6 plus 6 is on the right side. Check this is minus 6 and this is plus 6. So which one is on the right side? You can clearly see on the number line that plus 6 is on the right side of the number line. So our answer will be plus 6. So this is done for part E. Now let's move to the part F. Coming to the part F, there are two numbers given, 1 and minus 100. So for this, we need to draw a number line again. 0, 1. Look, the number is given minus 100. So it's not easy to write minus 100 till minus 100 numbers on the number line. So we can simply think about this that minus 100 is a negative number. So it will be on the left side on the number line. Right side mein kya hoga? Positive integer. Or is mein positive kon hai? 1 and negative is minus 100. So we can simply draw 2, 3 numbers and we can see that minus 100 must be here somewhere. Okay. And minus 100 is on the left and 1 is on the right side. So, which one is on the right side of the number line? Plus 1. So, the answer to this question is 1. Okay. So, this is done for part F. Coming to the question number 7. It is given, write all the integers between the given pairs and write them in the increasing order. Part A is given 0 and minus 7. So first of all, as we know in this chapter, we need to draw a number line. Positive integers on the right side, always remember, and the negative integers on the left side. So now, we need to check between 0 and minus 7, which integer comes between. So for this, minus 7 is here and my 0 is here. So, which integers are coming? We need to write them. And plus one more thing, we need to write them in the increasing order. Okay? So, negative integer, we need to write right side. Par jana hai, okay? As we are moving to the right side of the number line, the integers are increasing. So, starting from minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2 and minus 1. That's it. Remember in this question, we cannot write 0 and minus 7. Why? Because they are saying, the statement is that we need to write the integers between 0 and minus 7. Okay? In which 0 and minus 7 are not included. Okay? So, these are the integers and these are in the increasing order. So, this is done for part A. Coming to the part B. The statement is minus 4 and 4. We again need to write the integers between minus 4 and 4. So let's draw a number line. Positive numbers and the negative numbers. Okay. So let's check where is minus 4. It's here. And 4 is here. Okay. 
we need to write the integers between them so let's write starting from left going to the right it will be the increasing order on the number line so minus 4 or 4 ko include nahi karna hai remember this minus 3 se start karo minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and 3 okay so this is the answer to this question now let's move to the part c so coming to the part c the numbers are given minus 8 and minus 15 let's draw a number line since numbers are given negative Let's start from 0. Let's extend it. Okay. So the numbers are given minus 8 and minus 15. Find out where is minus 15. It's here. And minus 8 will be there on the right side. It's here. Okay, so now we need to write the integers between minus 8 and minus 15. In which order? In increasing order. Okay, so let's write the answer. Minus 15, minus 8 ko include, nahi karna hai. Start from minus 14, minus 14, minus 13, minus 12, minus 11, minus 10 and minus 9. So this is the answer to this question. Let's move to the part D. So coming to the part D, the numbers are given minus 30 and minus 23. So what will be the answer? Let's not draw a number line this time. We can write it directly. Minus 30, minus 29, minus 28, minus 27, minus 26, minus 25, minus 24, minus 23. But it's given. So, we will not include minus 30 and minus 23. But we will write from minus 29 to minus 24. So, this is the increasing order on the number line. Aage ki exercise hum next video mein karenge. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring and please subscribe the channel if you haven't done yet. Thank you.